Hi everyone, I'm Miranda Mills of Miranda's Notebook and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm attempting my very first vlog today so I don't know how it will go but it's going to be a fun day because I'm going to two book la launches and I thought I would try and take you along with me. It's about eight o'clock on Tuesday morning and I'm just about to leave and head to the Waterstones on Piccadilly for the launch of the Fleabag Scriptures book by Phoebe Waller-Bridge. I'm a big fan of the TV series Fleabag, there have been two seasons of it, sadly I don't think there will be any more but if you haven't seen the show I really recommend it. It's about a young woman who's played by Phoebe herself living in London and it's just a really witty, sharp, take on what it is to be human, on relationships and um, being a young woman living in the city. So I'm really excited to head to the launch of the Fleabag Scriptures which is a collection of the scripts of the two TV series and I think there's some special content as well that's been written for it by Phoebe. I'm heading to the Waterstones because they're launching a cafe inspired by the guinea pig cafe that's famous in Fleabag, so I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, I'll take you along and see you there. arrived at the Waterstones Piccadilly event and we're having some pastries and drinks before going to the proper flea bag cafe upstairs. Let me show you around. So I've just come back down to the little cafe in Waterstones. I went upstairs to the third floor to see the guinea pig cafe which is really cute. It's only actually open until Sunday so if you're in London then I really recommend popping by the Waterstones Piccadilly and seeing the little guinea pig cafe. It's really cute. It looks a lot like the cafe in the series and there are some really great details to it. There are even some little toy guinea pigs in there in their little cage which is very sweet. I got my flea bag the scriptures for me too. I can't wait to have a look at this later. I'm sure it will remind me of many of my favourite scenes from the TV series and I'm just about to have some pastries and a cup of tea now. I'm downstairs in the cafe which is really cute. Let me show you. I love the literary posters, that Dorothy Parker one is so cute. It's just a nice space to sit and relax for a minute. I'm just going to relax here for a minute, then I'm going to go to my yoga class um, because happily my yoga is really close to here and then I'm going to pop over to the London Library to do a bit of work in between. I'll catch up with you later.
So I've just come to a cafe to have a sit down and a cup of tea and a little rest before I go on to do my yoga class. It was really fun seeing the pop-up guinea pig cafe in Waterstone, so I thought that was really cute. And then afterwards I had a look around, all of the Christmas decorations are out, so Waterstones is full of Christmas trees and it looked so pretty. And then I popped into Hatchards, which also has its Christmas decorations and lots of new Christmas books coming in which are really beautiful. There are some ones I'm definitely adding to my wish list. And then I went along to Portnum and Mason and saw the Christmas windows and also all of the decorations inside there are out. London really does Christmas. <laughs> Everyone gets very excited about it in the city and all of the shops really go overboard with the decorations so they all start putting them out in November which is quite exciting it, at least I really enjoy seeing all of the decorations coming out and Mayfair always looks particularly pretty this time of year so it's been really lovely to have a walk around see the Christmas decorations see some of the Christmas books coming into the bookshops so yeah, it's been a great morning. I'm going to go to yoga in a bit and then I have some work to do in the London Library. I'm prepping for an interview that I'll be hosting, well, that I'll be recording next week for my podcast, Tea and Tattle podcast, which is coming back for its winter season very soon. And I'm interviewing an author that I'm really excited to chat to. So I'm going to go to the library and prep that interview and do some other reading that I also need to do right now. And then I'm going to go along for another book launch this afternoon. Well, like I said, it's not technically a book launch. It's more of a celebration because the book came out earlier in the autumn. So we're celebrating the Pretty City New York book by Siobhan Ferguson. Siobhan is the lovely lady behind the Pretty City London Instagram account, the Pretty Cities Instagram account and the Pretty City New York Instagram account. I interviewed her on my podcast last year when her book Pretty City London came out and she is so lovely and I'm really excited that this new book all about New York is out now. It's really beautiful. Siobhan has invited a bunch of Instagrammers to go to Balthazar in Covent Garden this afternoon and we're going to have a late lunch there and celebrate her new book. So I really can't wait. I'm sure that will be lots of fun, but I'll take you all along with me. So see you later. afternoon celebrating Pretty City New York by Siobhan Ferguson. I took a few clips while I was there, it was a bit tricky to get much film while I was out and about but I hope you're able to get a bit of a taster. I couldn't believe all the Christmas decorations that were out in London, it feels like I've just blinked and suddenly they're all out there and the city's looking really beautiful at the moment. But I'm glad to be home now, I'm going to make a cup of chamomile tea, settle down with the book and just unwind a little bit. I'm really looking forward to that. Talking of books, I did pick up something when I was in Hatchards. The new Sally Vickers book is out, Grandmothers. 
and I just couldn't resist this beautiful cover. I think it's by Vanessa Bell. Yes, it is. It's Vanessa Bell, The Other Room. I love Vanessa Bell's artwork and I think that cover is just stunning. The book sounds really interesting too. It says, Grandmothers is the story of three very different women and their relationship with the younger generation. Fiercely independent Nan, who leads a secret life as an award-winning poet when she's not teaching her grandson Billy how to lie. Elegant Blanche, who, deprived of the company of her beloved granddaughter Kitty by her hostile daughter-in-law, seeks solace in drink and takes to shoplifting, and shy, bookish Mina, who, in the safety of her shepherd's hut, shares, shares with her surrogate granddaughter Rosie her passion, oh, sorry, Rose, her passion for reading. The outlook of all three women subtly alters when, through their encounters with each other, they discover that the past is always with us and that we go on learning and changing until the very end. That sounds really interesting. It sounds like a great read about different women and the ties that bond them. And it sounds like there's much in here for people who love books as well, I think. So I'm looking forward to reading this and I'll report back when I do. But I hope you are all having a fantastic week too. Thanks so much for watching my very first vlog. It was quite exciting, it was a little nerve-wracking to produce. I'm not used to filming in public. Taking pictures in public can be tricky enough sometimes and actually getting your camera out and trying to record in a public space is definitely an interesting experience so I think this will be something I'll have to work on. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again soon for another video. Bye!